stand innovation as well from the coffee. It doesn't get much better than that. How good did it feel to see that one hit the back of the net? Yeah, it was such a special feeling for me. Uh, what I said, I, I didn't score a lot, so when I made my first one for Liverpool, it means a lot to me. Yeah. You almost had two, he just tipped it over the bar, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, I saw, it. I saw the keeper and I was like, oh! But, but at the end, mm, I was very happy with the, with the first goal. So. Overall, it's been the, the perfect start for you. Obviously, a few assists and really top quality assists as well. And then a, a goal tonight. How much are you enjoying it? Yeah, a lot, a lot. Um, like, uh, I didn't play a lot last season. And uh, um, when I came here, I get a minute. And that's why I join it a lot, play again on the pitch. On the, the first half, it felt like a goal was coming for, for quite a long time before eventually you, you made that breakthrough. Just a, a matter of time, but a great time for it to come as well. Sorry? A great time for it to come as well, just before half time. Yes, yes, yes. yes. We know uh, uh, it was a long time before we scored the, the first one, but uh, when you play against such a team that, that, that uh, play really deep, you have to keep playing, playing and searching for the gap and then yeah, we really find it. Yeah, it felt like it was almost destined to end 1-0 until Thiago pops up obviously at the end. You just had to, to grind it out, didn't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you know when you play, uh, when you are 1-0 one, one uh, in front, they, they are keep coming, coming and also with the defence, they did it good, but when Jota makes a 2 now, you know, it's in it. Game over, wasn't it? It felt like, as well, a game where you never really had to shift up through the gears. Even though it was tight on the scoreline, you always felt in control. I think they had the moments, but by and large. Yeah, yeah. Of course, they, they had chances, also big chances. But at the at the end, we know um, what we had to do, like keep possession, and and and, and I think we did very well. So. Obviously a huge occasion for them and I suppose it will be the case, especially in the early rounds of this competition, teams coming here at a massive venue for, for them to play at and it's something you've got to be on your guard against. I guess that Liverpool is a scalp everyone wants to claim. Yeah, of course, of course, if you play against such a big club, uh, you want to show yourself and also what the, uh, like the smaller teams you want to, to win against us. But we prepare for everything and, 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 and we have to win, that's it. And not only your first goal, but obviously your first taste of a European night here at Anfield. I mean, it's, it's legendary, I'm sure, something that you were really looking forward to when you signed. The fans didn't let you down, a really special atmosphere. No, no, no. Before I came here, I know that the fans were they're, they're crazy fans. And, and you saw it tonight, was, uh, they did it good. And, uh, uh, very special to play at Anfield and a rugby league match. So. And finally gives you the, the perfect platform to go into what is another very tough away game against Brighton at the weekend. No, no, we know Brighton is a very good team and, and we have to we have to yeah, prepare for it and, and, and show yeah, on Sunday what we what we're capable of. Congratulations, thank you. thank you. Ryan, congratulations. First Liverpool goal, how did you find that? Yeah, it's great, it feels super good. So uh, was my nice, uh, the, the, the best goal in my career so far, I think. <laughs> That's the best goal of your career so far? Yeah, the easiest, easiest, I think. <laughs> easiest. Hey, it doesn't matter how they come, though, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Goal is goal. <laughs> but you didn't have the easiest time in Germany. What's changed for you now that you're here at Liverpool? I think the minutes, just the minutes. So, you know, when, when you give a player minutes, you get confident, and, and I think that's it. You seem to be really enjoying your football here, though, as well. What's it been like fitting in with this group? Sorry, the last thing? What's it been like fitting in with this group of players? They're, they are really nice, really good group. Uh, also young players, and uh, I'm just enjoying it. And the midfield was basically all new in the summer for Liverpool. How have you found playing with these new players? Yeah, I like it, I like it. I think uh, Liverpool did a great job. To, to buy such some good players and uh, yeah we are such in so such a good mood and we're just playing good. You can say you've not stopped smiling since we started talking but when you came off a standing ovation from the home fans here what did that mean to you? A lot, a lot. I'm very happy that they, they gave me such a good feeling and I want to give them something back you know. Very well done tonight. Thank you very much. He definitely wins the award of the smiliest player at Anfield tonight, doesn't he, Michael? I mean, he's a very happy chappy, and you can't blame him. He's got his first goal for Liverpool since signing for the club this summer. How do you think he's fit into the team so far? I thought he was very good tonight. Um, 
It's great when you see that reaction, isn't it? Because most people feel it inside but can hold their emotions. But why not? Why not let it out? That's how he feels. Um, and what a night for him, his first goal, you know, uh, at Anfield. I think he could be, a, you know, a, a good player for, for Liverpool in the future. Liverpool's midfield has totally been torn up over the summer. Totally. And now there's an opportunity for, for whoever wants to grab it. Uh, and he's certainly grabbed his opportunity tonight. He was very good. Here's a statistic that just completely blows my mind. He is the first player in 21 years to score or assist for Liverpool in his first three starts. I just think that's crazy when you look at the calibre of players that they have signed over the years, that that is the first time in that many years that someone's done it. Yeah, and you've had that double-checked and triple-checked. I, I triple-checked it, didn't I? Was like, Are you sure about that? <laughs> Ran through a few players that you thought might have surpassed that. Uh, it is, I mean, whether it's coincidence or... But as Mike said, the, the smile on his face, he's, fe he's feeling the love from the crowd. He's feeling... He, he, a confident player, a happy player, is gets the best version of that player from a technical and a tactical point of view. So his game is at his best because he's confident. The, uh, the way that Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool are playing is different. It's not that sledgehammer football where it's 100 miles an hour all the time. It's possession-based and that will suit Ryan Gravenbach. Uh, Gravenbach. And uh, I think he's clearly confident and he's going to help mould that midfield for Liverpool. And as he said there, it doesn't really matter how the goals go in, Michael, as long as you get them in. And he was in the right place at the right time. Exactly. I'm not going to compare. <laughs> I was going to say, we could chalk off a few of yours living, if they didn't <laughs> count. <laughs> no, and hey, he was the person that was moving, that was anticipating it. I mean, the end bit is obviously the easy bit, but um, there's 22 other players out there and there was only one that was, you know, I'm sure everybody wanted to score in a red shirt, but he was the one that was anticipating, moving uh, and tapped it in the end. And as soon as the ball left Trent Alexander-Arnold's boot you just know that was a wicked one for the goalkeeper to deal with and uh, and he did well to follow it up and tap it into the empty net. It's poor goalkeeper we look at his anticipation of I mean Alexander-Arnold eats up that space down the left but Gravenbach you see just holds on the edge and then he gets between the two defenders and so he's unmarked completely so any rebound is going to fall to him he's looking at the goalkeeper looking at it it's poor goalkeeper he should have held it or parried it wide but, as I said, his movement was excellent. He was alert, he was ready. And if any gift was going to be given, he was going to accept it. It was actually a nicely worked goal. Uh, Simicast made a, an underlap, as it was, and took two defenders away. And then when Nunez played the ball to Trent, he had all the space in the world. If that, you know, if Simicast hadn't made the run, they would have been populated the area around the edge of the box and he might not have had the space. So little details like that, really important for goals. Yeah, so a good night for him. He got his debut Liverpool goal and a standing ovation from the Anfield crowd. But before that happened, Liverpool should have been in front. Darwin Nunes had a golden opportunity and he misses it, Michael. We know he's a top quality player. So why does he sometimes struggle with some of the easiest chances that he gets? Because we've seen this before in a Liverpool shirt from him. Well, exactly. It's either lack of, you know, confidence or lack of ability or, you know, not concentrating because, in theory, a professional footballer, most people should be able to finish that. Um, and <laughs> nothing he does surprises me, really. I mean, he does some great things um, and then some awful things. He's got so many gaps in his game. And I think he's got the raw material of being a top player, but he needs a lot of coaching maybe a bit more experience. But when you spend the money that they've spent, I thought you'd get more of a, a rounded play. I I've been surprised to see how many gaps he's got in his game. And I think, you know, I'm always reluctant to write him off because I think he's got some unbelievable attributes, as I say. And I always go back to someone like Didier Drogba when, you know, he first came over and people laughed at him for the first year or two. His touch was everywhere. And, and then all of a sudden, he just turned into... And I just think that he, this lad could be, could be, um, that type of player with improvement, he play, but he's got to brush up some of the obvious easy things in his game. Will Jurgen Klopp be disappointed with some of the second half chances Liverpool had that they didn't put away, Rachel? Of, of course, the fact that it's had no consequence. Uh, you know, only the second clean sheet of the season as well. He'd be delighted with that because that's something I'm sure he would have wanted to have tightened up on. But uh, you're right. You expect Jota. You've seen numerous headers that he scored from exactly the same position. Um, his front three were, are not, weren't really firing tonight. Salah looked sharp and um, he provided the assist, didn't he, for that Nunes golden chance in the first half. You know, he looked... Uh, 
their first half performance was much, much, you know, up to the tempo that you would expect from a Liverpool team uh, that are in a really good string of form. Um, but there's certainly improvements to be made. Disappointed, absolutely, because he knows further down the line he's going to rely on that ruthlessness of, um, of his forward players to see out much better opposition. In the end, they did get that second goal that just sealed the three points in the end, Michael. They did, yeah. They, they left it late. They made their fans sort of creep to the edge of their seats and they get a little bit nervous. But in the end, I think they were, you know, more than comfortable throughout the game. They certainly deserved to win it. It was just annoying for them that it took a while for the, for the, se uh, the second goal to come. A um, little bit of a mistake, I'd say, at the back. Uh, but it was a lovely finish. I was just trying to work out whether he meant to hit it into the ground and bounce it over the legs. You're convinced, aren't I'm you, convinced he, he is, because yeah. when I've worked against strikers in training, yeah. they practice hitting on the almost like the top of the ball. So you see the goalkeeper's committing, you know, then the space to go over him is actually just the height of his legs together. Um, it's a very, very clever finish, in my, in, in my opinion. Yeah, if I wanted to go over the goalkeeper, I'd always sort of go to...